this really has very little to do with me and everything to do with you, the viewer, essentially. What I'm getting at is research. I participated in a research study uh, today and it was a, a fairly large blood draw, which is totally fine. And the premise of the study is that there are certain markers in the blood that can be used as early warning signs of a variety of cancers. There's several companies out there that are doing this, but this particular one is targeted on colon cancer. And the initial uh, phase of the trial was very promising. Uh, the second uh, phase essentially is uh, testing those that are very low likelihood of colon cancer prior to colonoscopy with this blood test. So the hope is that a negative blood test will be as good as a negative colonoscopy. The end result potentially, possibly, could be the avoidance of colonoscopies for millions of people. The, the procedure is uh, expensive, the prep is unpleasant, and uh, uh, it, it is a disruptor of life for sure. A day or two of dieting and fasting, which is totally cool, but the prep is uh, nasty. And uh, basically a, a day is completely lost with the sedation, the prep, uh, getting home and recovering. So this uh, could be a game changer in many respects, also allowing the follow-up uh, intervals to be customized based on a, a person's risk, uh, family history, a variety of things go into the equation and decision making. So uh, I'm a firm believer in participating in reach, uh, research. I've done a ton of research studies, uh, both on the investigator side and also the particip participant side. And uh, it's certainly a personal choice for many of you, but I would strongly encourage consideration of saying yes if somebody contacts you and asks you if you are interested or willing to participate in a study. Uh, I also gave authorization to uh, use the uh, genetic material obtained during the study for future research purposes. So in the end, there are a, a number of biobanks, if you will, scattered around the world. Obviously, laws are different in other countries. Uh, I was involved in a project in uh, the Middle East with an extremely large uh, biobank in the uh, UAE. And that was a very exciting uh, project to see what they're doing and developing with that. And with the uh, advent of AI and blockchain technologies, the ability to extrapolate data from hundreds of millions of patients is just going to be mind-blowing in terms of genetics, customized treatment, personalized medicine, and hopefully bringing the cost of care down substantially. Uh, obviously, in the United States, we spend a ton of money on healthcare, and we don't really have the data or the positive proof in the pudding, if you will, that the money that we spend necessarily equates to better health outcomes. So take that as you will, and I hope you have a fantastic week. Take care.